All right, here we go, guys, and I'm at the 2023 Stewart Boat Show. Cold, windy, rained. Over two days, I dealt with everything from 40-mile-an-hour gusts to pouring rain to 45-degree weather. And that's a perfect segue into the boat we're going to look at today, a 46-foot invincible pilot house. Uh, that's hull number one that we're going to see. And apologies in advance, I'm calling it a 41 throughout. I'd seen a video on it. In my brain, I thought it was a 41. It's a 46. It's even bigger than, than what I was saying. And for those of us in the Northeast, uh, we're often dealing with bad weather, right? In the spring and in the fall and into the winter, it's usually cold. There's spray. There's waves. There's there's wind. It's just one of the pitfalls of our fishing in a northern climate. And this boat would solve a lot of that, especially when you're running to and from the grounds, especially in the fall and the spring and the into the winter if you're tog fishing. If I won the lottery, mark my words, I would be down at Invincible putting a deposit on one of these bad boys. They are north, well north of a million dollars. So, um, you know, at least myself, speaking just for me, I can't afford that otherwise. Hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. All right, 21 Invincible Catamaran Pilot House. Something you just don't see every day or ever. Um, I know I know Freeman built, uh, I believe, a 42 or a 43 for Jimmy Buffett, but this is insane. We got index storage. And remember, this is a catamaran, so we got the two sponsoons, and they will literally hold storage everywhere. This is actually access to all your bilges and pumps. This, I'm presuming, is storage. It's a live well. More storage. I mean, the whole way up is storage. You'll never run out of storage on this boat. I saw the, another video on this boat. This controls the glass going up and down. You see a, a camera there, which mounts into the Garmin and can take video of the guys in the back. There's another Garmin screen if anybody wants to see where, where they're drifting or what the bottom looks like. Beefy, beefy infrastructure. One, two, three, four, five, six rod holders across the top. Two really big live wells here. More storage, that could be a kill box or just a bait prep area. Three across here, some cup holders, but what I really want to see is that, is that cabin and the door is conveniently open. Wow. Oh. First of all, it is a crazy, crazy windy day. I don't know how it's going to show. You can see the river there, how, how it's blowing. This is like tranquility. There's no noise in here. It's just beautiful. And all the way up forward, you have a nice berth. Two people, two adults will have no issue sleeping there. And this door closes this way. There's another door behind this. You got a head area here. It's nice. Got a microwave here. Got a little more storage here sink here i'm sure there's a fridge somewhere in here too look at these seats jesus now i don't have a price on this but i'm presuming it's north of a million um this is teak i mean it's just beautiful these seats are also very nicely nicely stitched they feel nice on your hands two big garments got more electronics on top and i mean you can sit Seven people, eight people back here, no problem. This is like a friggin' car. Holy cow. This is like sitting in the back of a Maybach. Again, look at that wind. You don't feel any of that in here. This is uh, this is the boat that uh, those of us in the Northeast, if we win the lottery and we want an offshore boat, this is what we get. See, there's another door on this side, so you can enter the, the cockpit from either side. Just amazing. Amazing. Let's go up to the front. We're going to be back in the wind. Apologies. So it's a level deck all the way up. See, they got storage here, too, if you want to put weight boxes or tackle boxes. 
And if the inside wasn't nice enough, it's a beautiful day. Again, this material, you have to touch it to understand what I'm talking about. Um, just a giant lounge pad, more seating up here, more storage up here. I mean, look how deep that is. You will never run out of storage on this boat. Also have wash down pumps or hoses up here. And again, on both sides, you have all this storage. And if you want to go and it's on ten, it's on gas struts, you can see you could put your, your catch in here. You could put, it's guttered, so it's dry. You could put your bags in there if you want to go away on a trip. If you want to go, if you're somebody in the south, you want to go to the Bahamas, just put it all in there. And there's, as far as I can see, one, two, three of these giant fish boxes all across the back. That, remember, we said the second to last is a live well, and the last one all the way in the corner is uh, access to the pumps. Yep. Unreal. Definitely a, a lottery dream boat. And uh, we didn't even mention the 1800 horsepower, the quad Mercury racing V8s, 450s. Invincible 41 pilot house.